it's like my flight's delayed till 12 noon. Okay, so you find me here at the airport. I've woken up this morning and my back is on a whole new level of soreness. So the airport has offered me assistance to the gate. So I have got a lovely young man pushing me around in a wheelchair. I am really hoping that very soon this trap nerve manages to dislodge itself and I'm back to fighting fitness so for the next little while I think it's just rest and recuperation for me. My helper took me straight through to the gate which was so nice and at the end of the flight they just asked me to stay on board so that they could help me disembark. This is the new terminal at Bangkok it's only been open about six months just waiting for my bag to arrive. This is the view from my new hostel. Look at that. My new dorm room. There's no windows, but I'm in this little cubby down here. That'll do my back the world of good. Right, I'm going to unpack and I'm going to go and find some food and just rest up for the rest of the day, I think. How cute. They give you a little personal fan. And it's shaped like a little penguin. These are the private rooms. Look how lovely they are. Okay, three times I walked past this little cutway it's literally, you walk down a road and it's the smallest little alleyway ever. No wonder I missed it. And I expect later on, all these shutters will be up and it will be buzzing. So I've now made it to this road, which is the main walking street here. Well, this is spooky. I've been looking for some black cotton for a few days now. And literally, I was just thinking about it and I come across this material and sewing shop. That was a stroke of luck. Sat here making some repairs to my bag. And um, have you ever felt like you're being watched? It's George. I found this little restaurant and evidently it's Michelin starred. My own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try it anything So don't think that my head's all straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray Living life every day Late at night, not okay All I want and I pray All I need are some better days Yeah, all I need are some better days Cause all I want and I pray I believe in the better yeah. days You're only young one, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay well, I just want to be happy. How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me. All I need are some better days. Cause all I want and I pray. I believe in the better days. Living life every day. Late at night. Not okay. All I want and I pray. All I need are some better days. Yeah. All I need are some better days. Cause all I want and I pray. I believe in the better days. This morning or should I say this afternoon, Sinead and I have come down to this little restaurant to get some duck to cure our hangover. From there, we decided to do a little walking tour. This is the main Bangkok post office. Look at that. It is such a grand building. The founder of the Thai post office sat there looking very regal with his telephone right underneath the main building. Wow. 
not quite sure that we found it the right way, but we found. No, this isn't the way I came before, but I'm here. <laughs> and we came through this little alleyway here. So I think we've just found it by accident. The street art. How cute though. That the real old with a shiny new behind it. One minute sat in the old town, and now it's like a million miles away, and we're literally one street from where we were. And, and Sinead and I are just literally sat here, had some breakfast, and now we're going to go down to Pier 13 and take a boat trip for today. It's 200 baht to get in and with that you get water and I got to borrow a scarf as well because you have to have your shoulders covered. It looks like they've just found little odds and ends or a plate and a bowl and just put it, it's, it's, yeah, it's just, I mean, wow. One more stop on the boat and now we're coming down to the big reclining Buddha. Hopefully if we can find it. Oh my word, this is so cool. He is huge. So I've said goodbye to Sinead, she's gone and got the MRT back to her accommodation and I'm now getting the ferry all the way back to Pier 13 and I'm going to walk back to my hostel, have a shower and get ready for the train this evening which is a night train all the way up to Chiang Mai so hopefully I'll sleep this time when I'm on it because last time when I went on it last year I didn't manage to sleep but I'm so tired tonight. <laughs>